Okay, hello everybody. With these 3D printed cartridge, it's possible to put 35 millimeters film into Instamatic cameras. And I'm going to show you how this thing works. There are three parts the shell, the lid, and the take up spool. First of all, you should tape your camera to avoid light leaks inside the camera. Okay. First, you have to cut straight the film and tape it in this orientation onto the take-up spool. Like that. This part of the take-up spool must be facing up. Okay? The sensible part of the emulsion must be in this direction. Now, all the following operations must be done in total dark. I'm going to keep the light on to show you how to proceed with this operation, but imagine that now uh, the light is off and you have to do all the following operations in total dark. This is obviously the most important thing. Okay. Take all the film out and cut it, keeping a little part of film attached to the canister and leave it there. You have to make a very compact and thin reel with all your film. Okay. When it's really, really small, it's time to put this fill into the into the shell. Okay. Put it like this and like this. This is the most difficult part to do in the dark, and you have to make sure that the film is well inserted close the lid now it's time to put the film in the camera ok like this close the camera turn on the light this needle will will stop the film when it goes when it goes inside the camera this needle will stop the film 35 millimeters film has a lot of holes so this needle is going to stop it before it reaches the um, the right place so what you have to do is crank for loading the film, shoot and then cover the lens with your hand and then make another shot then crank again, shoot again one frame is dark and the next one is the good one if you don't do so all the frames are going to be overlapped just remember one blind and one good sometimes it's just difficult to yeah okay like this now it's not shooting 
and you need to crank until you hear that click and then the camera is ready to shoot yeah sometimes the camera may be locked like it's impossible to crank and it's impossible to shoot it, it looks like all locked and jammed that's because the needle is not capable or going inside the hole so you just have to shake the camera like this and now it's unlocked and you can shoot again on a 24 exposure film you should expect like uh, 16, 18 or maybe 20 exposures I suggest that you use 24 exposure film because the 36 exposures film is too long and it's becoming difficult to put it into the into the cassette because it is difficult to make the reel so thin now the film is all inside the take up spool now you're finished shooting now um, before you take this uh, cassette out of the camera be sure that you are in the dark because even if the the cassette is closed you still have some light leaks around here and a lot of light leaks around here if you don't want to have your film ruined by um, leaks exposures do this in the dark unload your camera in the dark now we're going to need the film we left over before okay now prepare your film with some tape here because we are going to stick this film together okay. we need to stick them together because we have to put this film inside the canister I'm going to use some tape this is the most difficult part to do in the dark but after some training it becomes quite easy you have to do this in the dark okay when you're done you start winding the film inside the canister when you reach the tape sometimes it's going to be quite hard to make it go inside so just be careful and when you feel that the film is inside and goes smooth then you can load it okay when you are at the end just remove the tape and you're done thanks for watching bye bye